So what we're dealing with is uh, an Echo Studio, and uh, the Target comes wrapped in a bigger box than actually that. Uh, and then this box inside, packed well. Wasn't a lot of packing material inside. Uh, kind of curious on that, but uh, that's that's to be expected when the box is within the same dimensions of the bigger box. But I think uh, we'll find out whether or not there's enough packing material on the Echo Studio inside of its box. I got this uh, because I wanted one I could use with my cell phone to play music. And I heard some good things about it. So we'll see whether or not those good things are merited or, uh, or just poppycock. Uh, you don't know. Okay, gives you a nice little bag that Alexa comes in, obviously. Uh, nothing else but some paperwork, it looks like, in the bottom. Uh, hello. Oh, we got some cables down there. And a foam box insert. And uh, we should check that just to make sure. Because a long time ago, I threw stuff away and found out that was a mistake. Sorry about the uh, rawness of the video and uh, whether or not, uh, nope, we're clear on there. And it's just that one little piece. So we'll put it back in there. I'm check underneath it just in case. Yep. And we'll put that back underneath. Put it back in the box, which is what you normally do. And we've got a power cord connector. Looks standard pretty much for uh, AC. And it looks like an Echo Studio star, uh, important information book and information book. So what do we got here in the Echo Studio? It's inside the bag. Uh, let's see what we got here on uh, this item, whether it's easy to pull out of here or not. I don't think it will be difficult, but it looks like I'm going to have to tug it out upside down. So that's it. And it is surprisingly heavy. It is, uh, you don't just grab it. It's too big to grab with one hand. Just lift that way unless you're a basketball player. And I'm not. And I'm also old. So we're going to set that up with this phone. And uh, then we'll take some video of how it works and uh, log back on.